I'm looking at these beautiful cranes and I feel like these are wings of hope on these cranes, a message uh, that the children and the families will get, that there are people on the outside who care. Thank you for standing in solidarity with our community and joining our voices to push back and say no more concentration camps. There's more than a million documented Asian Americans living in this country without having a uh, proper, I would say, right. This is about survival. And we are not supposed to be asking and seeking survival in a country that says we are a melting pot. If something needs to be melted, we need to melt the ice. My name is Sam Shoji. I'm 56 years old, and I spent 13 months in Puyallup and Minidoka. The feeling of being pointed out as an enemy during a crucial period of my life and without a chance to defend myself caused many psychological wounds from which I feel I have never recovered. So much of our family's story is preserved in that testimony. We just didn't get the details. Never really had the... I guess a, a time where it felt really appropriate to talk about it. So it's, I think it's your generation that that are the ones that are gonna carry this forward. I don't think anyone at first thought of that we would ever be gathered up and put into camps. It was a shock because when we the buses went in through the gates, there were soldiers and barbed wire fences everywhere. The moment you went into one of these stalls, it was just the smell of horses and manure in the dog. A short time ago, they were in a relocation center. Now they're in the Middle West, renewing their touch with the world they left a year earlier. They're facing life in a new community with confidence. Back in 51 and 52, people could reject your application to rent based on race. I remember going to the bathroom and you could hear the rats in the wall. It was a roach infested ghetto building. Oh my gosh, it's just horrible. The experience of one group at one period of time, but there are things in there that are universal. And there are things in there that are important to capture because history repeats itself. She is really completely reinventing the idea of sculpture through what she's making. I don't think there's any label for it. This furniture, which really boldly responded to the materials from which it was made, really sparked a revolution in the design possibilities for the American home. His striking experiments in architecture helped launch what became the largest architecture firm in America. The Akari Lantern is maybe the most ubiquitous sculpture on Earth. It's in more homes, shaping more spaces than any other thing. These album covers back in the 50s really made jazz from America stand out. Gonna take a sentimental journey Gonna put my heart at ease Gonna take a sentimental journey To renew old memories When she was 15 years old, Joy Takeshita was forcibly removed from her home in Los Angeles and sent to Heart Mountain. Behind the barbed wire, under constant guard, and living in impoverished conditions. She always kept her positivity. And she joined a band.
Gonna feel like a movie Teaching this girl how to walk Left feet she might have three But she sure feels nice in my arms Old folks sing an old song Playing me a greed upon key at least uh, we were kept together as as uh, unconstitutional and inhuman as what they did to us was they kept us together what the government do is doing now separating children of all ages from babies to teenagers from their parents is inhumanity on steroids the message is stop repeating history never again is now